because I don't have any follow-ups to do tonight. Using your touchdown song, please enter your PIN number. Your PIN... You are now logged into the Moto Dialer. Please press the start button on your screen to begin calling. I'm getting ready to um, go to my seller's place. <gasps> there will probably be like three showings at the same time. Oops, what the? So the good thing with my listing, it's always very close to my office. So that way I feel a lot safer and then it's also more efficient. Like if my seller is old, older, I can go always help them with lockbox and I don't have to use too much time. So I just got a text message from this agent. She hasn't even seen my house, but her buyer is um, putting in an offer. She just sent it to me. She said, I just sent you the agreement of sale. Please present to seller today. If you can, I really appreciate your help. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Luna over here. I'm a real estate agent here in Philly. So in today's Q&A, uh, we are gonna go through a few questions that you guys submitted on my Instagram. First question, he said he lives in Boston right now. He wants to know you know he's moving next year to florida do you think that is a good idea any tips someone that is just starting and can you talk maybe about the income because he's scared that he won't be able to pay for his stuff in the beginning and one last question is my job 100 percent commission based and to answer the first question i suggest you guys like i said in the previous video i'm going to link it down below um, I suggest you guys to save up to six months of income so that way you have a little bit of buffer because you're not going to make money right away especially with your move you're moving to a brand new city you, your lack of connection lack of sphere of influence which is going to make it a lot harder on top of that you need to learn the market so when I first moved to Philly I do not know the few centers and few parts in Center City, I had to take time to learn different streets, different neighborhood, which is a good neighborhood. So all that is gonna kind of slow you down. So maybe you need to bump up to like eight month worth of income. So how are you gonna do that? You can start by you know, getting a second job. Um, that way speed up the process so you can save up, up until like eight month, eight month of worth of income. And then you can start taking the course and start being a real estate agent. When you're also taking a course, make sure that you visit and interview different brokerage. See if any brokerage can cover the cost of you being an agent with the online courses. See if they can cover the payment. Um, is my commission, is my job, is there a low salary for my job? And the answer is no, because I don't work on a team. I don't work for any developer. Um, so my income is solely based on commission and my split right now is 85, 15. So my broker takes 15% of all my check and I keep the 85% of that. But if you're new, most likely you're going to look at the split of like 55, 45, where you keep the 55 and the team leader or the broker keeps the 45. But because it's a it's a not good split they might offer you leads or training stuff like that but if you're new expect that your split is gonna be not so great the next question that i have here is hey luna i'm about to be a real estate agent in europe and i just wonder do you still have time for relationship and social life so for this question um it's kind of hard for me to answer because i don't have any kids at the moment um, with my schedule, I work Monday, Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and on Saturday, I don't, like the rest of Saturday, I don't work. I don't work on Sundays, only if I have listing appointment. Um, also, at the moment, I don't take any buyers. I don't do showings. 
um so i feel like i have extra time for me to plan out my content for my youtube create my other business you know start real estate investing i also can keep a balanced healthy lifestyle to go to gym five times a week i feel very balanced and i feel i have enough time but because i don't have any kids i can't really give you my input on whether if you can have a balanced life with kids and i do understand once you do have kids your priority changes so you kind of have to adjust accordingly you know making money isn't really the number one priority anymore obviously you want to spend enough time with your kids because that's mo that's more important so I can give you a tip is to maybe focus on the listing side so that way you're working you know more efficiently because with listing you can schedule your time um, according to your schedule whereas if you are a buyer agent when a buyer wants to see houses or they want to schedule showings it's most likely going to be after work time so nighttime evening showings after five o'clock or during the weekends so I assume that if you want to be with your kids you might not have time during the weekend but instead you know as a listing agent you will have more free time and more time to yourself and you can incorporate more of your own schedule um the next question i have is from let me see it's from roxanne uh she said as a young agent how do you find routine that works for you also how should i expand my connection to other people in the business like photographers and lenders so to this question i'm gonna link a description i'm gonna link a link in the description of my routine you guys feel free to check it out it will tell you like when do i do follow-up when do i do prospecting when do i schedule my most like my listing appointment um as far as expanding the connection i will say i don't really expand my connections right now at the moment i only expand my connections to sellers or philadelphia like influencers or business owners um i don't network with photographers i don't network with lenders the way how i look at lenders is you are going to be given a lot of opportunity to network with a bunch of lenders when you're new because lenders want to get business from agents however i don't trust lenders who just put their face in front of me because i want to see your work i want to see your work ethic i want to see how good you can work with my buyer so what i do typically when i first started selling is if my buyer happened to have their own lender and the lender is in a really good communication with me as the buyer's agent i'll keep in contact with the lender so in case if i have other buyers who are not pre-approved or they need a lender then i'll introduce this lender to the buyer because i have the experience that i work with the lender prior so i know the lender fairly well rather than if i just go find a random lender at a networking event i have no idea if this lender is new i have no idea if this lender is easy to get communicate is easy to reach out to so that's how i would do as far as photographers i used to network with a bunch of photographers but i'm no longer a active model i don't really do any photo shoots anymore so i don't really see the point of me networking with photographers if you need to get a property shoot which I recommend, like if it's under two hundred thousand dollars or two fifty, less than three hundred thousand, if the house is not a brand new construction or a very good condition, most likely I will just use my own camera to take photos. Uh, I have a separate video on how to take property shoot that I did with a uh, professional photographer. I'll link it down below as well for you guys. Uh, be sure to check that out. But the next question is, she said. Is it possible to do real estate from home as far as all the office work and calling goes? And do most clients like to schedule appointment on the weekend and after business hour during weekend? Would you like recommend real estate for moms with kids? Is it too demanding? So with the first question, um, yeah, definitely you can work from home. However, I feel the most and the greatest is to come to the office and, and you know work here. Like I said, I don't have any kids. It might change when I do have kids. Um, do most clients like to schedule appointments on weekend or after business hours during the weekdays? So I guess that depends on if your clients are mostly buyers or sellers. If it's buyers, yes, they will definitely want, if the buyer has a 9 to 5, most people have tend to have 9 to 5, then they would want to schedule after 5 p.m. or during the weekend. But like I said, again, if your prospective sellers wants to schedule a listing appointment, what I typically like to do is, 
I ask them, hey, like, do you have a nine to five? If they say yes, then I'll say, okay, well, I'm available maybe nine o'clock in the morning or 6 p.m. after you get off work, I can meet you somewhere. Or I can say, hey, you know, I can meet you Saturday around 3 p.m. Because I tend to not work on Sundays. I don't want to work. I want to take a day off. So that's kind of how I would go from there. And what I recommend moms with kids is it too demanding. I guess it depends on your um work ethics and how many kids you have and if you have any help from your family let's say if you can get your parents to kind of help you out or you know your husband has a, a flexible schedule i will say sure because real estate is it's fairly flexible and i see a lot of moms doing great in real estate and you know once you have kid you have the motivation um as long as you're not breastfeeding because i know breastfeeding can tend to be quite difficult if you are a real estate agent like i don't really know where you would breastfeed like in the office because i think you have to breastfeed like every two hours so if that's the case you definitely have to you know work at home and then as far as the listing appointment goes it's gonna take like an hour so that should work out fine get a sitter for an hour um i don't think it's too demanding as long as you focus on doing mostly listings um yeah so here are the q a's for this week and i hope you guys love my answers uh also don't forget to comment fortune cookies down in the description box below so i'll know who are the real mvp uh thank you so much you guys for watching my video this is luna over here and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye